Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Team Beer Why. Now when Google launched the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro back in October of last year, they also unveiled the arrival of their Magic Editor software for Google Photos, which were exclusive features on the Pixel 8 series. With that said though, back in April, Google announced that it will bring its AI photo editing tools to more users via Google Photos. So the editing feature started rolling out at around May 15, which was around Google I.O. 2024. And they have finally started to arrive for users who have the Google Photos app installed on their phones. So stuff like Magic Eraser, Photo and Blur, and Portrait Light, for example, will be available to anyone using Google Photos without the need for a Google One subscription. Additionally, Magic Editor will expand to all Pixel devices, which should be a much welcome update for folks who are using older Pixel devices. I actually managed to get it on my Pixel 7a, so I'm able to use the Magic Editor function and pretty much all the additional features that it comes with on the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro. And I've even been able to use it on non-Pixel devices. Although I do have a Google One subscription, meaning that there will be no limitations when it comes to using the Magic Editor on a non-Pixel device. Of course, this also means that the editing tools will be available for people on Apple devices. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a limit, so non-Pixel users only get up to 10 Magic Editor saves per month. Although if you do get a premium Google One plan, or if you purchase a Pixel phone, you can of course bypass this limitation. Now, if you think about it, this is kind of a good and bad thing at the same time. On one hand, more people will now be able to access Google's impressive editing tools, although it does dampen Google's claims of such features needing special hardware like the Tensor chip to run, and it only confirms early rumors that tools like Magic Editor are able to work with cloud technology and not necessarily on Google hardware. Now, with all that being said, there are, of course, requirements if you want to run the software on your device. For example, Android phones will need at least 3 gigabytes of RAM to support these features, in addition to having Android version 8 and newer. Additionally, these tools won't be able to work on 32-bit smartphones. And the same requirements are the same for iOS devices, which will need to run iOS 15 and newer versions. Right, so that does it for this quick video. Let me know your thoughts on Magic Editor on your Pixel device or your non-Pixel device, as well as other features like Magic Eraser on Google Photos. Do you have these features already and are you going to use them? Or are you not really interested in these new features for Google Photos? Now, if you like this video, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out our other content here on TeamViewer Y. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.